What up, YouTube? Big Little Big Luis Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a review on the Kai Lin RTA. This was an RTA that was released by the company Vandy Vape. Same company that's brought you the Mike Vapes RTA, the Icon R uh, RDA. So the Icon RDA, I still have an up and coming review on it, so sit tight. I'm gonna give you my personal opinion. I'm gonna tell you about the positive parts of it and the negative parts of that device, whether or not I like it or I don't like it. But today we're gonna be talking about the Kylin RTA. The Kylin RTA released by Vandy Vape, a company that was partnered up with Geek Vape back in the days, and they went it their separate ways, and they said, we're going to do shit our way, they're doing it their way, and they're doing a pretty good fucking job of it, let me tell you. This Kylin RTA, I was pretty surprised by it, I did not think I was going to like it. I really didn't think I was going to like this device, simply put, simply based on the fact that it looks a little weird. Okay, it's 24 millimeter at the airflow, 26 millimeter at the top glass tank area. Uh, the building deck is similar to a Reload RTA building deck, but different though. It looks kind of like it, except the Reload doesn't have a center airflow and the screws are set up differently. But it kind of looks like the Reload RTA deck. Now, as far as this performance-wise, it performs. Currently, I've got Fogging Out with the Batman coils in here. Now, if you don't know who Fogging Out with the Batman is, he has an Instagram, he has a YouTube channel. You can see him in the uh, Convicted Vapes Facebook group. If you're not down with Convicted Vapes, go join them. See if you get accepted in to go be a part of the Convicted Vapes Facebook group. But in there, you'll find Fogging Out with the Batman. He makes amazing fucking coils. He vapes kind of like me. He likes builds to be fucking, like, super fucking performing and stainless steel and hot and this and that. You know, we have, like, kind of like the same vape preference. You know what I mean? So I feel real confident buying coils from Fogging Out with the Batman because he makes such an amazing product. There's a million coil builders out there. Everyone's doing the same shit. But for some reason, what he does just vapes amazingly. I have no problems with his coils. Glowing them, heating them up, fucking using them. Uh, they last a while. He's using high quality material. Currently, I'm vaping on an e liquid by a company by the name of 5150 e liquids. They initially sent me this box a couple months back and I killed fucking juice in here. They sent me the whole line. I didn't like the whole line, but there are flavors in there that really fucking stand out to me. There's this one, Sinacity. Really good. It's a cinnamon fucking e liquid. Fucking off the charts. Then they sent me this other one, Nuts. Nuts is fucking phenomenal. Killed that bottle. They sent me a 30 mil bottles. I said, yo, why'd you send me 30, bro? I need 60s. I need 120s of this juice. That's how fucking good this juice is. I got another one, Psychosis. Psychosis was off the fucking charts, you know? So, you know, after I killed all the juice that was in this box, I basically emailed them again. I'm like, yo, send me 60 mils. Guess what? I killed the fucking 60 mils. Guess what? Got another 60 mil I'm working on. Guess what? 120 mil bottle. Still working on it. Good ass fucking e liquid. I got me some skull candy, which is a whipped le uh, lemon meringue pie. We also got straight jacket, which hold on to your seat. Straight jacket, oak barrel salted butterscotch custard cream. This shit is liquid heroin. It's that fucking good. Okay, we got another one here that I'm currently vaping in my tank. But in the build portion of this video, I'm vaping a different flavor. But currently, this one that I'm vaping on is called Nuts. Which, Nuts is simply savory hazelnut peanut butter and bourbon. What? More liquid heroin. Yo, just get an intravenous needle, fucking shoot up, you will fucking love it. And the upside down tangerine cheesecake is literally crack. So we have crack, we have heroin, we have fucking opiates. This shit is so addictive, you're gonna fucking fall in love. Okay, you're gonna forget every juice company you ever vaped on and only go with 5150 e liquids. That is a fucking hands down, honest, straight up statement I can ever give anybody. This shit is fucking crack. Okay, so moving forward onto the tank, we got the Kylin RTA. Um, you know, some people have different cotton methods, different wicking methods. I like to pack my cotton into the juice well. It comes with a huge juice well on either sides of the building deck. And it's great for single coil and it's great for dual coil. But what I like to do is when I do single coil, I do a bigger diameter coil. I do four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter in diameter coils 
in the center of the building deck simply because you got all this airflow and I don't want any juice or anything escaping so I like to pack a lot of cotton into my juice wells versus this one the, uh, what I currently have on here I have a I currently have a dual coil set up made by fogging out with the Batman okay so I have dual alien coils that are two wire cord stainless steel wrapped in stainless steel fucking amazing alien build in here just flavor for fucking days this tank is a flavor chucker and a cloud chucker on top of it get all the best and benefits of the world with this tank so now that i gave you the intro let's dive up close let's check out this device and go from there so this is what our tank looks like without the drip tip up top but if you do notice in the 510 area you do have that uh same style goon style drip tip uh, up top where it has the black o-ring in the top cap itself uh, instead of knurling it's got these cut sections on the top cap which honestly make it very easy to turn the top cap and loosen the top cap in order to fill it with liquid um, towards the bottom you can see where it tapers down by the airflow control you can see how it just tapers down into a smaller size so the actual tank itself the width of the glass is coming in at roughly around 25 millimeters. But if we go down to the airflow control, the lower section, we're down at 24 millimeter. So the bottom area is 24, the middle section is 25 millimeter. It's actually a really nice looking tank. For an RTA, it's actually pretty cool looking. Now overall height, I got 36 millimeters in height. So the actual height without the drip tip on top is 36 millimeters. Taking apart is really simple. You just simply turn your knurled top cap. You can turn that, you can remove the glass, and then remove your barrel. They got a very similar deck style to the Reload Vapor RTA. It looks exactly like the Reload. Same exact kind of deck. It's just bigger airflow and a little wider. Huge juice channels that flow right to the cotton right there. So I believe the cotton is going to be covering the screws. So once you put your build on here, your cotton's going to get stuffed right in front of the screws. And your airflow is going to be coming from the bottom and from the sides as well. So you have airflow coming in from here as well as the center. So you have center air and air coming here and here. So hitting the sides of the coil and directly underneath the coils. We have our positive side here. This is our positive side. You can tell because there's a high temp Delrin right there wrapped around it. And then we have our negative side. So the way the coils are going, they're going from here to here, which means the side of the coil will be here and this will be directly over the coil. So this is going to get a lot of airflow to your coils, which is going to create a lot of vapor. I'm going to be installing some coils by fogging out with the Batman. It's got a YouTube channel as well as an Instagram. It's got one in English and in Spanish. So we're going to be doing these, uh, I believe these are alien builds. These are alien coils. So we're going to be using these builds in this R in this RTA.
Now, when you're going to prep your wick into the juice channel, you want to be able to pack the cotton in there. It's a very important part of this process. You really have to pack it in there snug and tight. Just, I know you get used to, you know, putting less and less cotton in these RTAs that they make today, but it's very important that you do pack in the cotton. This way, when you juice up your coils and your cotton, it's going to get really saturated. Because the juice channels are gigantic on here, you want to be able to pack it in tightly. Yo, shout out to Foggin' Out with the Batman for these dope-ass fucking alien coils. Look at that. They're just laying perfect. Today I'm vaping on a little Skull Candy by 5150. Some good shit right here. This is fucking Whipped Lemon Meringue Pie. Once you screw this barrel on, what you gotta do is you gotta find the juice channel. So you could turn this, you can notice the whole bottom piece turns with it, so you can have an open juice channel there and an open juice channel there. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna take a flashlight and look down into the barrel and see if your coils are touching the top of the chimney or the sides of the chimney. If your coils aren't and there's enough room, and you're good to go. Now luckily this RTA comes with a, a chimney extension as well as a taller glass. This way you could vape for longer and not have to fill up your tank so often. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my chimney extension on here and put my taller glass tank on. So you can see this one is much taller this tank versus this glass which is much smaller. It's about half the size. So this is probably about three mils of juice and this is about six mils of juice. So definitely a difference in size. I like the taller one because if I like the build I have in here and I love the flavor on it, I'm not gonna wanna fill it up very often. I'm just gonna wanna fill it and just turn my back and vape all day. We're going to be using a drip cap from Angry Beaver Vape Design. Good ass company straight out of Alberta, Canada. So here we are. We're on Vandy Vape's uh, Full Steam Ahead website. Okay, so VandyVape.com. We're at their website. And I wanted to just show you real quick the difference between my RTA and what they display on their website. Now, what's displayed on their website is showing you they also come in multiple colors, which I think is pretty funny because if you look at the name of the color, it doesn't actually match the color of the tank. So we have a purple tank, and then there's this red tank, which happens to be blue, and then there's this red tank, which happens to be blue. You understand what I'm saying? So over here it says red, but the tank is blue. Over here it says blue, and over there it happens to be red. But they, you know, they come in purple, blue, red, and green. Okay, and uh, what I wanted to point out to you over here, these are computer generated images and the, the version that I have slightly differs from the computer generated images on the website. Now, um, you know, it has the same building deck. It has the same type of tanks and everything. Everything is pretty much the same exact thing, except one thing that I'm noticing here. And uh, when I came to this part here, it says the chimney installed in the atomizer chamber and replacing the six mil Pyrex tank, okay? So normally you get this two milliliter tank on the left hand side, and then you have this chimney extension with a higher or taller glass piece, which you can extend the tank up to six milliliters of e-liquid rather than two milliliters of e-liquid. Two milliliters of e-liquid is fine, except I prefer maybe four milliliters of e-liquid in a filling tank and then having an additional eight or six milliliters. I think that's how they should have done the glasses, really, based on the size. But if we continue to look at the tank, once again, we have the two mil tank and a six mil tank. But up top of the glass, you'll notice that these have a top fill ring up top and then they have this separate top cap now mine doesn't have that ring for some reason i don't know why but for some reason right here it says top filling ring so you have the ultim drip tip you have the top cap and then the top filling ring 
So, you know, I really wish they had this on here because when you currently, when you close your top cap onto your Pyrex glass, uh, you know, sometimes if you overfill the tank, juice will come out. It just sandwiches out and pours over the glass of the tank, which gets a little annoying. But other than that, for the most part, I actually really, really dig this RTA. Uh, there is another con, unfortunately. On this diagram, it shows you got a one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like a six or seven wrapped coil on this diagram. But if you look at either one of these, you know, you have like this big ass coil here. But the problem is, is when I put a five or six wrap coil on here, my coil legs start to bend inward and starts to mess the position up of the coil. So I think if you're going to do like two wire cord fuse claptons, the most you can go is like a five wrap tops you won't be able to go any bigger than five because the legs and coil start to get a little twisted that's the only downfall with this i would have probably made the width a little bit bigger because on rtas i like to put bigger coils in rtas so let's go out into real life mode and let's go from there So you've seen the up-close portion, you've seen the build, you've seen the website, you've seen everything. Now the pros about this device, flavor for days, and fucking awesome cloud production. The other uh, positive, you can put 6 milliliters of e-liquid in this juice tank itself. Uh, the, the juice control, you can actually control the amount of juice wicking your cotton. You don't have to have it super saturated all the time. You can open and close off your juice channel very easily okay some people like to have their juice channel closed when they're filling their device and then you know they turn their tank upside down they open the juice flow and they open the airflow for the vacuum scenario some people do use that method there's different methods to filling up tanks today that people are comfortable with i don't give a shit i just leave it open the juice channel and I just fill it up and put the top cap on. The only thing you have to make sure you do with this tank is not to fill up the juice all the way up to the very tip top of the glass. Simply because when you go to screw your top cap on, you will get juice overflow. You don't want juice overflow because then you have a mess and then you got to look for a napkin and look to clean your tank. So just be sure you keep the juice level two to three millimeters lower than the very top rim of the glass and you won't have any juice pouring out okay as far as the wicking build on here i like to pack in my juice wells with cotton and so forth to ensure that i have no leakage on this tank some people like to fluff it up like advanced vapor he likes to fluff it up and cut it halfway so the cotton goes halfway into the juice reservoir it works for him you know i'm happy for him it works for him he likes it and everything i like to have mine packed in tightly so to ensure that there's no juice leaking out my airflow control uh another letdown on the deck you could only build so wide of so many wraps so you could possibly maybe go about five to six wraps maximum the other method that i used i uh bent my coil legs so the 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 side flat walls of the coil legs are facing the screws rather than putting the uh, coil legs normal in there and screwing in the screws and having it bend the coil on its own when it does that it can twist the coil so i like to pre-bend the wire legs so they can fit in there the right way you can screw it in and it's good it's not fucking up the coil and that's about it as far as the tank itself it's a cloud chucker it works it's a great flavor chaser it's a really awesome tank. I love the fact that I could put six milliliters of e-liquid in here, fill it up three quarters of the way or two thirds of the way, whatever the case is, and you know still get a good like solid hour and a half to two hours of worth of chain vaping on here. So for me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.